Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. It was sunny outside. It says it's raining. If it's raining, I'm not going to be out there. But if it's not, I will. Good morning. It's Barbara. I forgot my glasses. So I hope I don't need them. This is poor Dennis. Dennis's poor lemon, lime tree. One of his lime trees, the other one died. I think the only, the only reason he's got it up there, I don't know if you can see its leaves with the background so green, but it's few, got a few nice leaves and, and Dennis has, um, found a video on how to grow lime, lemon trees and he's assuming lime trees from their leaves. So he's growing those leaves so he can start new lime trees. I swear it's true. So we're trying, trying to keep that one alive. The other one, I'm looking at it right here, dead as a doornail. But that gives me two pots, unless he's going to use them, to pot our plants. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for people, it is Memorial Day weekend in the United States. So it's a long weekend. And the I'm sure the garden shop is going to be jam-packed full of people. So we have to we have to pull our thistles and get things ready here anyway. Um, but I need to put it on the calendar on Tuesday that we're going to the garden shop because it'll already be June, and we'll be just planting our stuff. Of course, my, other than the <clears throat> other than the cucumbers that we I bought seeds for cu pickling cucumbers. Other than those, everything is going to be plants. So that's the plan. Anyway, and it just occurs to me, I haven't spread my seeds yet. I got to put these things on my list. I haven't spread my seeds yet. And Dennis said there's no more rain after today in the long-term forecast. So I wonder if I should just go sprinkle some seeds randomly, hoping that there'll be enough moisture for the seeds if I do that. Otherwise, yeah. I don't even know if we have enough hose in the front to go to the places that I wanna plant the seeds. Whatever. That's what happens when you're a procrastinator. Things don't get done. But anyway, I'm still hoping to implement my plan and have some tomatoes and peppers and mint. Anyway, so yesterday went semi to plan. I did not buy, I ended up having to go to the store. Dennis needed onions for his mushroom soup he was making. I did not buy anything that I shouldn't have, which I would be tempted to do in other times. So that was good. I ate cookies for my snack and that was good. I watched, I caught up on, on Leslie and a couple other videos and worked on my, along the, edge cowl for a little while and I watched a movie but I was on my phone too much and I didn't put my material girl on yesterday so I took a shower today I put on my material girl fixed my hair the sun is shining so I'm outside for the moment although there's a swirl of clouds coming down from the north according to Dennis so we're out here in a good time and, uh, yeah, today we're at, we're going to, once, after we walk the dogs, we're going to go over to Aura's. Dennis has to replace the innards of the gas guest toilet and, um, the dogs and I will visit with Aura for a while and we'll bring her some of the mushroom soup Dennis made yesterday. And... <clears throat> have a visit with her. So that's the only plan, real plan for today. 
Um, Dennis already bought the parts he needs. Got a dove behind us and something up there. And the sun. I'm so happy that the sun is out for a little while. It's going to be um, rainy later and then it's sunny again. So take advantage of it while I can. Every, I, you know, whatever helps lighten the mood is valuable. So there you go. That's, that's all the plans. <clears throat> it rained hard last night. Pearl had some seriously worrying moments. She was very concerned. And so that was too bad. And the rain was hard enough that it beat up the azalea flowers and it beat up the ro rhododendron flowers. So those are now on the not looking good at all. My purple iris that I brought in has died, so I will go and see if the how the iris is fared in the rain yesterday. I hope they're still doing well. I still have a few irises. They're kind of the end now that the roadie and the azalea are gone. They're the last of the early flowers. The Stelladora lilies haven't come in. The um, cone flowers haven't come in. Oh, I have two tiny peonies. I don't know if I can show them to you. They're way in the corner back there. I don't think you can see them. But they're very pretty. They're dark on the outside and light on the inside. That poor peony plant. I That peony plant was here when we bought the house 21 years ago. It was in the front underneath another bush along with a, a Easter lily. And it was under that bush for... 20, 15 years, 13 years, something like that. So I had my uh, yard guys replant it over into that corner, which I thought would work because I thought that corner would be sunny enough early in the spring that it would be okay. It's not sunny over there now at all after the leaves come in, but it's sunny before the leaves come in. But it isn't thriving there either. So I am, I am going to move it once more. I mean, it's a tiny little plant. It's only this big. I, you know, peonies grow huge. I think I'm going to put it right in the corner over here, which is very sunny for all morning and a couple hours in the afternoon. That's all I can do for it. That's all I can do. I have trees, you know, there's, you know, <laughs> but I'm thinking that's what I'll do because it's a shame. I, I love peonies. Now you can't have peonies in the house because they have a symbiotic relationship with ants. And so they don't, those flowers don't open without the ants. So they have ants in them always, but you can have them on your deck. If you don't mind ants on your deck table, which would be fine with me if I could enjoy my peonies. And, uh, yeah. So I think I, that's one of my projects this summer is to move that peony one more time. See if I can get it a place where it can thrive. Actually, maybe I'll buy another peony while I'm at the store. And put two peonies there. See how they do. You know? Anyway. But I have two little peonies. I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't even see them. Dennis said, did you see your peonies? <laughs> when we were going, taking the, putting the dogs in the car. No! So... And I can't really see them over there. I should just pick them and put them on the, on my, uh, you know, it's only two little flowers, but I should pick them and put them on a, in a vase on the table. 
Maybe I'll do that tomorrow if they're still there. For all I know, they got beaten up in the... Oh, I think it's those jam. They might, got, might have gotten a little beaten up yesterday in the rain. Of course, they're a little protected there under the trees. <laughs> little, you know, silver lining. And so there you go. Oh, it's so nice to have a sunny day. It's so nice to have a sunny day. I will sit out here until the weather turns. Take advantage while I can. Meanwhile, I'm going to go. Um, please take good care of yourselves. Please, please be careful. Wear your mask. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Happy weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend to all of those who are celebrating it. And happy Saturday to everyone else. And happy Sunday to Megan. And I hope and I hope Eloise is feeling better. Megan's Eloise has COVID. Oh, I hope it wasn't. Oh, she put it on Instagram, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> anyway, please take good care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay sane.